Gussie loved her vegetable garden in her backyard. She went out to pick some ripe tomatoes that had grown up on her fence, and she noticed a hole had been dug under the fence, and a few tomatoes had bites out of them. Gussie said to her butler, Sander Dander Smocks, Hurry, come to the garden and look. Sander looked around the garden and the rest of the yard to see what other clues he could find. With God's help, I will find out what has disturbed your garden, said Sander Dander Smocks. First, he found two more holes dug in the dirt in the garden, and next he noticed the grapevine had been knocked down. Also, the trash can was knocked over and the garbage rummaged through. Sander said, Gussie, we have security cameras in the front and back of the house. I'll see if the backyard camera caught anything in your garden last night. On the video, Sander could see something moving in the garden at about 3 a.m. It was dark, but it looked like a fox. Finally, Sander searched along the fence and found fox tracks leading from the garden fence to the woods. He told Gussie, you have a pesky fox that is getting into your garden. Oh no, said Gussie. Are you sure? Yes, and I will look for more clues in the woods tomorrow, promised Sander. Early the next morning, Sander explored the woods behind the house. He followed the fox tracks, and that's when he heard it. High-pitched barking. It was the sound of baby foxes. He quietly followed the sound of their yelping until, through the trees, he could see the fox den. He was careful to keep his distance. Foxes have excellent hearing, so he was very quiet. He didn't want to disturb the mother fox and her pups, or she might move them. With his binoculars, he could see two sets of baby fox eyes. Sander told Gussie what he had discovered. Our pesky fox is a mother fox that has two baby pups in her den. I saw their eyes and heard them yelping. She goes out at night to search for food for herself and then goes back to her den to feed her pups with her milk. Oh, that explains why she found our garden. She's just hungry, said Gussie. Her heart went out to this mother fox and her babies. I want to put food out for her to find, said Gussie. What food should I put out? Sandy replied, best thing to put out would be a can of dog food or cat food. Great idea, Gussie told him. Sander went on, we don't want the mother fox to depend on us for all of her food or she might stop hunting in the woods. Let's just put out one can every three days or so. After eight weeks, the baby foxes will no longer need their mother's milk and she won't need to keep coming to us for the extra food that we put out for her to find. Gussie began putting out a can of dog food in a special dish for the mother fox. She put the food out in the evening. Each time, all the food was gone by the next morning. Gussie was happy to help this mother fox with extra food. After eight weeks, Sander Dander Smocks went back into the woods to see if the baby foxes were coming out of their den yet. With his binoculars, he could see both pups happily playing in front of the den. They no longer looked like babies, but looked more like adult foxes. Sander knew that soon, the fox family would move away from the den and the pups would begin to learn to hunt for their own food. The pesky fox stopped visiting Gussie's garden and so she stopped leaving food out for it. And that's how Sander Dander Smocks solved the case of the pesky fox.